Okay, so let's get started. I've opened up a brand new PowerPoint window. You're going to go to the Insert tab and select Photo Album. I tend to like the arrow box. That way I know that I'm doing a new photo album, so I'll click there. You want to select File slash Disk under Insert Picture From. Now I have the opportunity to visit a beautiful subdivision, a D.R. Horton subdivision called Windsor Creek. And I have some pictures that I took, so I'm going to go ahead and select those pictures. Hold down the shift key if you want to select them all. And I'm going to insert those into my photo album. Now, we've got a couple options from here. We can, one, change the order. If we want the kitchen to be up front, we can use the arrow key to move the kitchen up the chain. We can rotate the picture if we want to rotate it just for kicks. We can lighten or darken the picture. We've also got an album layout selection, so let's see how this works. The picture layout can be fit to slide, or we can have one picture per slide. You can see how that works. It gives you a little bit of white space. Or you might want two pictures for the slide and so forth. You can also select your frame shape. You may want a rounded rectangle instead of this. There you go. You've got corners in one and you don't have corners in another. Or you may want to do a simple frame that's black. And that shows you what that would look like. It's totally up to you. Use your imagination. You can do a center shadow rectangle and it looks that way. And you can also select your theme by browsing for themes. So you can decide if you already know which theme. I like to, once I load the photos in the album, that's when I like to select a theme. Okay, so we'll hold off doing that. You can decide if you want all pictures in black and white. If so, select that particular um, option. I kind of like mine in color, so we'll leave that. And if you want a caption below all pictures, you can certainly have a caption below each picture. And I like that because I'm thinking if you're going to describe each picture, a caption would be nice. You can do a new text box if you'd like. And that's going to give you a text box behind each photo if you select one for each photo. If you don't want a text box, you can remove it. And after you make your selections, you want to hit Create. And so now we have a photo album with two pictures per slide. And see how we have the captions that are added to the pictures. That way the person's looking at each picture and knowing exactly what they're seeing. So now let's look at a theme option. That's where it really gets fun. You can actually go to the Design tab and you can just hover over each theme and it kind of gives you a sense for what it would look like. And let's just keep going and see. Oh, that's a nice one. If you want that theme, that will be the one you select there. I like that one. There's another option. Another option. And you can really just take your time and select which thing you're thinking would be nice for this particular photo album. I kind of like that right there. Now, once you get your theme selected, you can always modify the text. So you can say, in this case, the name of the subdivision. And then I'll add my name. And then you can go to each photo if you want to change your captions. You can add text right here and change. Let's just say, lovely kitchen. You can always decide what you want to put down for your captions, but that gives you an idea of what you, what you can do. And then after you do that, you can say File, Save As, and we'll say Photo Album, Windsor Creek. And you now have a photo album saved and ready to go. Okay, I hope you use this tip. Let's just take a little view of our pictures. F5 gets me to the photo album. Click, 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 click. Very nice. Hope you can use this tip. I'm Juanita with In Motion Real Estate Institute. Thanks for watching.